In this presentation, we're going to calculate any gain or loss on the sale of a bond. And for our example here, we're going to use a zero coupon bond. But we could use follow the same procedures for a bond purchase that a premium or a discount. So upon the sale of the bond, we're going to calculate any gain or loss and we're going to recognize it as revenue here on the income statement. And we're also going to calculate the interest revenue while we held that bond. All right, let's look at how we'd record this zero coupon bond on our balance sheet. And we're going to look at it in terms of a bonds receivable, a bond that we purchase here. And we're also going to look at it in terms of selling this bond before its maturity date. So I have it laid out in T-account form here. I've got the assets shown over here on the balance sheet. And then in this case, we're going to have a gain or loss on this bond here plus interest revenue that we recognize on the bond. And that's part of net income on the income statement. So let's look at this bonds receivable. We have a $100,000 face value bond that we uh, purchase here, and that has a, a maturity five years into the future. And we pay $68,060 for that bond. So what we need here is a balancing entry between the cash account and the bonds receivable account. And what we use is a discount to bonds receivable. This is a contra account to bonds receivable, or it reduces the bonds receivable account. So we would have a balance entry here of $31,940 here. That $31,940 credit here plus the $68,060 credit uh, up here to the cash uh, paid balances with this bonds receivable of $100,000 uh, maturity or face value we have on it. So this discount the bonds receivable, we use that to amortize the, the interest revenue that we recognize on that bond each period. So um, the, we use the beginning carrying value of that bond times the market rate of interest for that year and then that is what our discount amount would be here. So we would debit that uh, carrying value times the market rate of interest for that uh, interest revenue that we recognize each year. And over here is where we have the interest revenue. That would be a credit here to interest revenue. And that is that discount the bonds receivable amount. So at the end of the, in this case, the end of the third year, we've uh, realized $17,647 worth of uh, revenue. Now, if we go back here and look at this discount the bonds receivable, we would have amortized it down to a uh, carrying value here or a, a net value here of $14,266. All right, we've amortized this discount the bonds receivable down from $31,940 down to a uh, balance here of $14,266 when we um, sold this bond here. Now, we've increased the carrying value of that bond at the same time from $68,060 down to, or up to $85,734. And that's the same as calculated, the calculation here where you have the $100,000 face value minus the uh, uh, balance here in the discount the bonds receivable, which is $85,734. So that's our carrying value in our bonds receivable. Now we go back here and we have to calculate our gain or loss when we sold that bond. So we received $87,000 in cash and I've got that credited over here or debited for $87,000. And then the bond's carrying value at that time was $85,734. That's shown over here. Now subtracting the carrying value of that bond from the cash received we get, in this case, a gain here of $1,266. So we would credit uh, the gain here uh, for $1,266. So that's how we calculate uh, our gain or loss and recognize our interest revenue when we dispose of a bond before its maturity date. Okay, when selling this bond, we have to recognize either a gain or loss here in our revenue account. And we do that by taking the carrying value of the bond at the time of sale here and comparing it to the cash received. So in the case here of a gain, we received more cash than the carrying value of the bond. So we recognize a gain here or we credit our revenue account. In the case of a loss, we would have received less cash than the carrying value of the bond here. So we'd uh, debit 
our revenue account here for the loss amount. So what we're doing here is we have to make um, the comparison here with the cash received versus the carrying value of the bond. Now if we go at, at the end of the after the sale is made we have to close out our bonds receivable account here and also close out our discount the bonds receivable and then uh, we would debit cash for the amount received on the on that sale and then we'd recognize in our revenue account in this case a gain here of of uh, twelve hundred and sixty six dollars so if we go down here and look at our uh, balancing accounts between our debits and credits you'll see that they balance here they cash for 87,000 plus the discount the bonds receivable here $14,266 in our debit uh, column here balances with the bonds receivable closing that for $100,000 and then recognizing in this case a gain of $1,266. So that's how we'd uh, recognize any gain or loss on the sale of this bond.